them. And we are seeing some of that uh, smoke flow into our area still. We will actually see a little bit of a shift in the weather pattern over the course of the next couple days that could clear things up for us. So it won't be quite so hazy as what we're seeing over Rexburg as of right now. Uh, we will lose just a few degrees into tomorrow temperature wise as a little bit of a cold front moves through, but it's not a major storm system. We'll just look for low 70s where many of us today saw some upper 70s. 74 is your current temperature in Rexburg. We've got an 11 mile per hour breeze. We could also stay a little bit breezy overnight tonight before things calm back down as that short wave uh, moves through the area. The Viper radar very clear still. This storm system that moves through, though we will see that wind and a slight temperature drop. It's not expected to cause any sort of rain or snow. It's a dry wave that's going to be moving through. For the most part, high pressure still dominating the forecast. But you see as we move towards the, the midweek especially, this high pressure is going to hightail it eastward, and we're going to look for a system of low pressure to form off the coast. Of course, as that sweeps in late in the week, that's going to be a cold front. That's going to cause some more active weather, and we're going to be talking rain and snow at that point. In the meantime, here's what I was talking about with the smoke. We're seeing a pretty direct flow out of Northern California right now, but just a slight shift in the weather pattern today and tomorrow is going to cause that smoke to drift further southward and then we'll clear up into your Tuesday, perhaps even Wednesday. Enjoy a little more clean air before that smoke starts to drift back in. Here's a look at your highs for tomorrow as well as those lows tonight. Again, a touch cooler tomorrow, but still pretty decent, especially as we're working our way further into October. Uh, 30s though tonight from Cameron and Montpelier, so watch for that chance at a frost. Also over into western Wyoming, things are going to get pretty cold tonight, especially up towards the National Park. Jackson will hit 36 tonight before rising up into the upper 60s tomorrow. Into the upper Snake River Plain, we should be looking for low 70s still for highs. Into Rexburg, St. Anthony, and Dubois. Here's central Idaho where salmon can expect another 70 degree day tomorrow. We'll look for mid 70s into Stanley as well as Chalice. Low 70s for Ketchum and Mackey into your Monday. Into the Snake River Plain again, Pocatello 75 tomorrow, looking for low 70s through Idaho Falls and Rigby for your Monday. Here's a look at the extended forecast. Our temperatures do bounce back up into the mid 70s through the midweek before that cold front hits and we see much colder days ahead. You can see that overnight for the next several nights, we're still just going to be dipping into the 40s, but then into the beginning of next week, we're going to start talking about frosty conditions. Once again, Pocatello looking at some haze tomorrow. Tuesday is going to be our most clear day uh, headed through the work week before we start to catch on to some rain by Saturday, Sunday. That could also help clean our air up a bit. Hopefully that cold front as it sweeps through can also uh, do a little bit to help douse those fires that are on the west coast. Rexburg looking at mid 70s through the midweek and then 60s, even just 50s as highs pulling through next weekend. We'll also look for some cooler overnight lows at that point, potentially dipping into freezing territory. Blackfoot into the mid 70s all through the week, upper 70s Wednesday with uh, 71 by Friday ahead of that cold front that drags us down into the 60s for salmon as well by Saturday. And then Sunday's looking to be our really cold day. Highs just into the 50s for Sunday in salmon. but. A lot of good stuff ahead of us. 70s all week long before we get to that point. Jackson also looking at hitting that 70 degree mark all the way through Thursday before we start to cool down and see those colder temperatures ahead. Monday looking pretty chilly next week. We'll be right back with more news headlines after this break.